we're going to we're going to begin our service here in a moment, uh, and you have it in your blue booklet toward the back, uh, and you'll need to page back to the hymns that we'll be singing and find those along the way. Uh, but uh, just just a few things quickly. So, as David said last night, we were making kind of a transition uh, from Shabbat to our Sunday services. And many of you have probably asked before or wondered before why it is Christians came to worship on Sunday, given that we came out of the Jewish tradition of Sabbath. And uh, it's somewhat more complicated than I'm going to take time to do right now. We can talk about it more later. But the very short answer is that over time, Christians came to worship uh, on Sunday because of the resurrection of Jesus. So he was buried on Friday, day one, uh, after his death. Day two, Saturday, in the grave. Day three, in the way days were counted back then, even if the hours didn't add up to uh, 54, three days, you know. Uh, and so he was raised on Sunday morning. And so there's lots of symbolism about it being the first day of the week, week rather than the last day. And there is a sense, therefore, that it's also tied to the concept of the eighth day of creation, which is a kind of uh, new creation theme, you see. So the sense of Christians is that not only did it just happen on that day, but it was the birth of something new that was happening, the beginning of the new heavens and the new earth, this uh, really wonderful way of celebrating uh, the kinds of things we're going to be talking about in our passages of Scripture today, and so I wanted to sort of prompt your mind about that just a little bit as we think about uh, this concept of what was and what is to be, memory and hope, these two always being held together in creative tension in our faiths and in our worship, and so uh, we begin on this day. And uh, I will open us in prayer and say to you, in uh, the bidding uh, of some Christian traditions, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Good Lord, we welcome this day and receive it with gladness. We give you thanks for the privilege of worshiping you and worshiping you together with our friends. We thank you for the legacy of faith that they share and that we share with them. And we pray that in this hour you will receive our praise and our prayers and be honored and glorified by us in it. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. 